Hello, it's me, Jimmy O'Neill. Um, I've not really made a video for a while, mainly because I can't be fucking arsed, to be truthful with you. I'm in Carby Kev's garden. That's his house, you see. And that's the famous van. It's been out of action for a while. It's not been used for a bit. Because, like me, are you raising well? Say hello, Kevin. Hello folks, how you just, doing? I'm just talking about your van, you, yeah. basically you've not used it for a while because like me you can't be asked for them car boots anymore can you? This is going on auction actually, it's um... Antiques Roadshow? Yes, uh, it's got alloy wheels on, as you can see, and uh, I've already got a bid for £400. Here comes the punchline. It's an M Reg, but I've already got a bid for £400 just because it's me van. I don't know why. Exactly, right. Basically, what this video is about, you know, we can see none of us have got any money. So, I've set up on um, the YouTube site, underneath this video, you'll see a link. It's donations, you know, basically. Because I've been making these videos for like five years. I've made thousands of people, and you have as well, and all the people who've been on the internet, we've made thousands of people laugh all over the world, basically, from America, Australia, even Vietnam, Chile, India, Venezuela, Macedonia, I kid you not, these are the places which shows up in the demographic where these videos are kind of watched. Have you any thoughts? You've probably been watching Beijing, have you any thoughts he on has, that? Yes, um, ladies and gentlemen, he has made people laugh all over the world but well, you've also entertained them with you with your vocal abilities yes you is. know but um you know basically we, we set up a donations thing kind of thing so you can you can give us if you wanted for it you can give us some money you know or in your typical wigan way you can just sit there watching it for fuck all with your wigan rugby top on and fucking pie all around your mouth and some noisy cunt banging in the background you can probably hear you know you're probably making a fucking go-kart for a fucking down syndrome or something i don't know i could be wrong but i'm still offensive you know um i blame it on the pound bakery i've just had one of the slices i've got another one in the house to eat any thoughts donation yeah. the, the point we're trying to get over here to the public yes, is um, we need some around, money we're going around ashton and makerfields in a few weeks we're taking plastic buckets round. I don't put coins in because it scratches the plastic just put notes in will you you know, as basically, what have I got out of the... You know, it's all right getting a pat on back of some fellow with no teeth in Wigan Market and his social worker's phone number tattooed on his neck saying, You're funny, ye! Can I have a phone to take with you? You know, after the first two years, that kind of fucking wears off, you know. And also, what else do I get from being on YouTube? I get fucking ugly fucking women in with glasses on and fat, bald pricks of husbands telling me I should die. Uh, two weeks after my mother passed away, I had some fucking ugly bitch with glasses on, if it's you, uh, and you fucking ugly bastard of an husband, giving me shit in a chip shop for nothing, saying my videos are shit, and Wigan fucking deserves better. Does it really? Have you had a fucking look round, you fucking marsh green twat? I should imagine you come from the... You're definitely not from Wigan Lane or Purbold. Yeah, and then she fucking stood outside the chippy with her husband. Try to get this big fucking fella come in and smash me and salmon up. Fucking stupid bitch. So that's what I get. That's what I get for being on YouTube is abuse, basically. I get the odd pat on the back. If one of you. Thanks, you know. But, uh, you know, I'm not even looking. Go on. Okay, then Kevin wants to tell a joke. Well, before he tells his joke kind of thing, you know. Look at Luke Marsden. Even he's got a fucking job on Bolton FM. He doesn't have a beg like me, you know. He has to fucking walk every morning from Banff along with a pot on his head for fucking water. You know what I mean? I cook my tea with fucking broken pans, you know, with dirty infected water. If me and him were fucking black, you'd be sending us two pound a fucking month. But nobody gives a fuck because we're white, do they? Am I right? Yeah. It's fucking, you know, yeah, they should, right. they'd be sending us fucking old shoes and fucking spectacles and fucking, they don't give a fuck about us. We've no money, so donate to something. Uh, here's a joke from Kevin. Hello. Kev at Kev, on the internet. All right, little lad, you went it chippy. He's only 25p. He says, give us some chips. He says, what? Chips? He said, they're £1.20. 
to give some chips. So I put him five chips in the tray. He says, uh, <coughs> can you put some vinegar on? He put some vinegar on. Can you put some salt on? He put some salt on. He said, you got any tomato sauce? He said, fucking hell. He put some tomato sauce on. So he can you wrap them for me? He said, me. He says, do you want some jam on them as well? He says, what flavour have you got? <laughs> Chicken there. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I've got a joke for you. This fat cunt in a wheelchair goes in the chemist and says, donate some video, do, donate some money to these YouTube videos. Thanks. And then he went to his chemist. Jimmy O'Neill. Can I beat Kev? It's Jimmy, it's Jimmy O actually. I'm Jimmy O now. I'm not Jimmy O. Jim, that other one. That, that was my slave name. Good night. Can I beat Kev? Signing off. See you later. Good night, lads.